So this is Brian and I'm coming to you from Bozeman, Montana, and I want to talk to you about meditation and the power of meditation. Not per se releasing or revealing, although meditation is a part of that, but just meditation in general. See, in my last video, I talked about that if you don't have time to meditate, then you need to spend more time meditating and less time working and the power that has to change your mindset. And if you haven't checked that video out, make sure to click in the link in this video and check it out right now. It's a huge video. And if you stay to the end, I'm gonna to share to you how I got started in this area and what some of my favorite meditations are and how they can change your life. And so this is kind of a multi-part series over my last few videos because it, because getting that monkey mind, that manic mind, that crazy mind inside of you under control is one of the most important things you can do to shift your life. Now, with that said, check it out check out the beauty around here check out all the snow it is a beautiful place to be i have been changing my life a lot lately doing a lot of work i've been meditating about three hours a day four hours a day sometimes five hours a day and i've been making sure that i'm shifting my life to have the life i want that's what it's all about and you can see the beauty of this place uh, pretty soon i'm gonna be in costa rica doing it too and that all comes from all this meditation and mindset work I've been doing, not from the doing. The doing does have a part, but the meditation, when your mind stops and slows down and you can really get focused on what you want and there's no interference with negative thinking kind of sneaking its way in there, like self-doubting thoughts, low self-esteem issues, self-attack, then what happens is whatever you focus on starts to expand and starts to opportunities start to show themselves and the doing is so much easier it's so much less with way less work you get way more done if you're not fighting your own thoughts and that's what meditation does if you've got a monkey mind if your mind's out of control and you can't stop it then the first thing you need to do whether you're working on dating making money getting fit is in any particular area of your life is get that mind under control Learn to slow those thoughts down. Learn to still those thoughts. And that's where I started. Now, in the last video, I shared with you that I started, well, a long time ago with basic meditation, but the real pivotal point was when I got the book, The Power of Now, which I referenced in the last video. And I listened to that book on audio over and over and over and over again for months on end. And I learned to feel my pain and let it go and let go of all the thoughts that went with it. But then I also shared that I took another period where I did it for like a year. And the key to that period is when I learned the basics of releasing. Observe the thought, observe what's ever coming up in my mind, all the monkey mind stuff, and then let it go. That was the huge pivotal point. And I wanna get into that right now a little bit deeper so you can understand the power of this. Because when I started to meditate, and I just, and a lot of times I wasn't even releasing, for several hours a day. And you don't even have to do it that much. The average person, I, I came from a very destructive household with a lot of negative thoughts. So I had to do it a lot. And I consider that a gift. That's largely what's made me able to transform my life so much was I really wanted to climb out of that pain into something beautiful. So when you begin to be able to make that transmutation inside of yourself, transformation, the external world just automatically changes around you. And it is so beautiful. Now, with that said, before we continue on, I want to uh, invite you to like, subscribe, share, and comment in the video. It really helps us to grow the channel. We're on a fast track to 100,000 subscribers. We're very close. We only got about 5,000 to go. So help us get there by sharing, commenting, and subscribing. We really, really appreciate it. It helps us again to grow that channel. So thank you. Now let's dive in a little bit deeper. What can you do to meditate? And start, if you have to, start with 10 minutes a day. But if you can get up to an hour, if you got a really crazy mind, you get up to an hour a day, that's awesome. And then, and what I would specifically do is I would spend the first hour of every morning, at least 15 minutes if I had a busy day, stopping and meditating. That's the welcoming part of releasing. Welcoming whatever's coming up, whatever's in front of you. Observing it, whether it's a thought, a feeling, an emotion, and then letting it go. And as you do that, the more and more you do it, the more you begin to develop this awareness, this deep understanding of what's going on inside of you. And sometimes it's painful. And that's what the power of now taught me is how to really welcome that pain. And, uh, and as I start to welcome up these negative thoughts that say, you're not good enough, you can't do it. And then I'd feel the emotion attached to it. And then I just relax. Can I let go of that thinking? That's what really began to change me. Now, at this point, I'm not releasing on any specific topics. I'm not welcoming up all my pain around money or women or anything like that. Just general, whatever's coming up that morning, whatever I start with, I start to feel sad in the morning. And it's just because it's morning sadness, morning depression. I just welcome whatever's there. 
and then let it go and then let it go. And I keep letting it go. Welcome you more love was the intent, more peace, more consciousness. I put on some nice music, whatever would move me into that state. And I do this for a minimum of 10, 15 minutes to an hour every morning. Now, what did I do throughout the day that was such a big game changer? You see, the mind would take off again. I'd start to drive to work, the mind takes off. I'd start to work on a task, shoot a video, the mind takes off. I start to sit down and do the finances, the mind takes off. And whenever the mind would take off, I would stop and meditate again for 5, 10, 15 minutes. I would literally do it before I did the task. Then halfway through the task, if it takes off again, I'd do it again. And I'd have these check-ins all throughout the day. Is my mind racing? And every time I stopped and slowed it down again, it maybe got a little bit slower, not perfect. And then the next time a little bit slower. And then the next time a little bit slower. It began to have a begin to have a, a profound effect on my life. And then one morning I get up to meditate and I drop into these states so much faster, so much more peaceful. I could feel endorphins pumping through my body. I felt better and better. Not in relationship to women per se, not in relationship to money, just in relationship to life in general. Now that in turn has a profound effect on my relationship to women and money later. Because as I began to get my base state really solid, I begin to believe in who I am, everything else around me begins to change. My whole life begins to change. And so I want to invite you into this. I want to invite you into this idea that you can make this change in your life too by simply starting a meditation practice. You don't have to do my meditation practice. You can go out and look one up on YouTube. You can read The Power of Now. You can practice Vipassana meditation. You can just watch your breath. But get started. If you've got a monkey mind, a manic mind, learning to slow that down can be the very thing that changes your life. But you have to commit. Commit to a minimum of three months and watch what happens. Hopefully you like this video. Uh, this to me is a very important video. And make sure to watch my last video. We'll have it linked in here. Uh, there where I talk about if you don't have 10 minutes a day, you know, you need to practice for at least an hour. That's a powerful, powerful video. Check that one out. Also make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to share. Oh, and make sure to comment. And with that said, remember only the confident really live. And I'm still testing this one out. What would you do if you were fearless? Have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.